Well, yeah, too easy. All good. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Doilo Sporting Complex here on the north end of the Central Coast. It's minor semi-final time. Central Coast Rugby League Tui's Cup action. It's the Erin Eagles taking on the Woi Woi Roosters. Knockout football at its best. Winner goes on to the preliminary final next week. Loser can celebrate Mad Monday this weekend. Neither team will want to go home early. They'll both feel like they're really in with a shot in this competition. The winner of this one will go on to play the loser of Wyong versus the entrance. That'll be live on Bar TV tomorrow from 2.30. Let's run through the two sides. We'll start with the Woi Woi Roosters. They finished third in the competition. Fullback Mitch Manson on the wings. Darnell Wisham and Luke Redhead in the centres. Uh, change. Jack Brown is out. Scott Gowans comes in along with Alistair Beal. Ernie McGillicuddy at 5'8". Blake Maddow at halfback. In the front row, another change. Shane Lewis comes into the starting lineup for the suspended Tom Reed. He'll partner Jade Mason in the front row with Chris Hyde at hooker. In the back row, Reese Ryan and Luke Moore. And locking down the scrum is Darcy Ittrich. On the interchange bench today for the Roosters, we have TJ McLean, Jimmy Fawcett, Daniel Spratt, and Jesse James. And they are coached by Ray Farag. Now the Erina Eagles. At fullback, Lewis Sheens. On the wings, Mitch Deegan and Dane Marson. In the centres, Brandon Shoveler and Danny Lawrence. At 5'8", Connor O'Byrne. And at halfback, Jake Fitzpatrick. In the front row and in the 20, Kenny Tafata. And in the 10, Tim Burrell. The hooker is Steve Pont. In the back row, Trent Pye and John O'Wright. And locking down the scrum is Oliver Clements. On the interchange bench today for the Erina Eagles, Toby Elliott, Bailey Scott, Tyler O'Brien and Joel Frazier. And they are coached by Dane Allen. Kickoff shouldn't be too far away here at Doilo. 2.30 is the scheduled kickoff time. We've just seen... Reserve grade finish up for the day. We'll run through some of those earlier results. In the ladies league tag, it was Terrigal 12 defeating Erin a 6. In open age, it was King Cumber 8 defeating Erin a 6. And in reserve grade, it was King Cumber 14 defeating Erin a 8. So Erin a 0 and 3 at the moment on the day. Can first grade put a halt to Mad Monday celebrations for another week? Could be a big night back at Erin a Leagues Club tonight. Woi Woi coming off a loss last weekend. They went down to the entrance 30-18. to 18. It was a close run thing. It was 12 all with about 15 minutes to go in that one. And in the end, the entrance just too strong for the Roosters. They live to fight another day. They get the second chance after finishing fourth, uh, third, sorry. As for Erina, they defeated King Cumber 38-32 last weekend in the elimination final. They knock King Cumber Colts out of first grade. And they have a chance to progress through to the penultimate week of the season. Should be an absolute cracker. These two teams have played each other twice this season already. Round one, it was Erina getting over the top of Woi Woi, 30 points to 20, down at Woi Woi Oval. And then in round 10, it was Woi Woi scoring on the bell to defeat Erina, 20 points to 16. So they've split both games this season. And this one's for all the chocolates. So we see the Aaron side make their way out onto the field. Led by their hooker, Steve Pont. John O'Reid of NRL fame, top try scorer for the Eagles this year with nine tries. As for the Roosters, Luke Redhead has had a marvellous year on the wing. 13 tries. For the Woi Woi winger. Be looking to add to his tally today. 
As I said, tomorrow, live from Woi Woi Oval, it'll be the entrance taking on Wyong for a spot in the grand final. The loser will meet the winner of today's clash here at Doylo Sporting Complex. Referees for today's game, Jeff Hardup will be the official in the centre of the park. Touch judges, Brianna Davies and Connor Hibbert. Pitch is in immaculate condition here. Doylo Sporting Complex. It's not until you get here, though, there's a little bit of uphill about it. If you're running from right to left on your screen, you'll be running uphill. Interesting to see whoever wins the coin toss, which, are the, which way they'll run. There is a bit of breeze about. Not really favouring either team here today. The sun's just come back out as well. So ideal conditions here for Rugby League. Too far away from kickoff as referee just laying down the law to both skippers. Hasn't been the best of days for the Erina Eagles. Can they turn the tide here in first grade? As for Woi Woi, they pushed the entrance last week. They led 12-0 early in the first half. The entrance overrunning them in the end, but they certainly put up a fight, the Roosters. I'll be thinking if they can get another shot at them that they can run them close again. And it'll be Erina to kick us off. In the dark blue with the red and white V, Woi Woi Roosters in the predominantly white with the blue socks. And there'll be Connor O'Byrne to get us underway here at Doylo Sporting Complex. Elimination semi-final. Winner goes on, loser goes home. And we're underway here at Doylo. Wobbly old kickoff there from O'Byrne. It'll sit up nicely, though, for the Roosters. They'll play it just shy of their own 20 as Hyde into dummy half. Go down the short side to Moore. Moore will play it just and wish him loses his footing. Hyde in the dummy half again as they come the open side underneath. Jade Mason scored last week against the entrance. Scored in the final round of the season as well. So he's on a bit of a hat-trick here, Jade Mason, as that kick's charged down. Woi Woi fall on it. They go down the short side through Manson. Now Lewis into the starting side today for the suspended Tom Reed, And nice offload from Lewis. Back to Manson, making their way up towards halfway here, the Roosters. Lewis again. He gets up to halfway, but he's met by some solid Aaron of defence. Matt Eye, cross field. They go out the back, they find Ryan. Ryan comes back towards the centre of the park. He's wrapped up by John O'Wright. This will be the last tackle, 35 away. Hyde now. Finds McGillicuddy, who's... Brought down on the last. Not sure if they knew that it was the last tackle there, the Roosters. So that'll be a changeover and not the end of the set that they would have wanted. It's Aaron is first use with possession today. Clements brought down right on halfway. Tackle two. Make sure if you're tuning in on Bar TV, let us know who you're cheering for and where you're cheering from as Tafata now. Carrying three with him, four with him, up to the 40. Mason in on the tackle. Pont comes to O'Byrne to right. Wright puts some nice footwork on. He'll be brought down 25 away. Pont goes the open side to O'Byrne. O'Byrne through the hands. Finds Fitzpatrick. Clements now. Looking for the one-on-one -on -one strip here, Woi Woi, but Clements holds on. Only 10 away, Fitzpatrick, O'Byrne, short ball, Shovela. He's brought down on the last, so both teams not getting to their kick. Not a bad place to give it back, though, for Erina. Look sharp with the ball in hand early. 
Moore works it away from his own line on tackle one. Hyde now down the short side to Wisham. Plenty of numbers there for the Aaron Eagles. Pont was over there as Hyde now goes to Lewis. Plenty of touches early for the big front rower. Hyde again. Cuts out Mason. Lovely little ball there from Matt Eye. Nearly put Etrich into a hole. Hyde again. Comes to Matt Eye. Matt Eye will kick early in the county. Wants it to stay in this time, but it will just trickle into touch. That's a better finish to the set. There'll be a scrum feed. 22 out from the Aaron line. Three and a half minutes gone here at Doyle Sporting Complex. Scoreline is nil all between Woi Woi and Erina. As I said, touching on those earlier games, Terrigal defeating Erina 12-6 in the Ladies League tag. Kingcumber 8 defeating Erina 6 in the Open Age. And Kingcumber 14 defeating Erina 8 in Reserve Grade. Uh, not the best of days for the Eagles so far. As Hyde gets in on the tackle and pushes him back. Dane Marson, manhandled in that tackle by the smaller man. Boy, boy, really muscling up in defence here. Lawrence plays it. They make their way up towards the 40 here, the Eagles. They go to O'Byrne. O'Byrne out the back to Fitzpatrick and, well, red right in defence. It was Beal shooting up out of the line. Running out of dummy half from Ponies half through. Just tripped up there by Mason. Clements in a dummy half. Goes to Fitzpatrick who kicks off the left. It's over the head of Wisham. Cops an awkward bounce, but it's well fielded there by Manson. And now the Aaron defense gets a chance to force Woi Woi back. Coming off their own line again here. Woi Woi, and this will help their cause. Early penalty. Tackle two. Inside the 10. Luke Redhead coming in for the run. And Hyde will kick for touch over to the far side. It's up about 20 metres on that kick. That'll get Woi Woi out of trouble for the time being. Go, Bailey. Get him up. Hyde in a dummy half, comes to Etrich, goes across field, finds Matt Eye. Matt Eye out the back, they go through the hands. They've got the numbers and Redhead puts it on the deck. He had open passes in front of him. He asked the question of the touch judge, was that forward? A shake of the head, he knows that was an opportunity. He'd be disappointed with that Luke Redhead. Chance goes begging for the Roosters who found a bit of space on this left-hand side. Now, Erina will have an opportunity. Full set of six inside the Woi half. Trent Pye fighting his way to the 40. He's brought down by three. A little bit too much work in the tackle there. Stripped out by the Roosters. So they compound the error with a penalty and... Aaron will have an opportunity to go right on the attack here. They take the tap. Shovel is brought down, 30 away. Tackle one, Tifata. Through the hands to Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick to O'Byrne. O'Byrne to Lawrence. Nice tackle there by Gowans. Filling in for Jack Brown. John O'Right. Good leg drive, carrying two with him up towards the 10. He's put on his back though by the Woi Woi defence. Pont in a dummy half. They find O'Byrne. O'Byrne short ball. That's Pye. Trent Pye for the line. He goes close. Scrambling defence from the Roosters. They go to O'Byrne. O'Byrne with a kick. Rebounds off legs and woi woi. Get lucky. They fall on the loose ball. Blake Matai, Johnny on the spot. Promising signs though for the Eagles. Woi Woi 
familiar sight working it off their own line. Hide out of dummy half goes to Lewis. Lewis makes his way outside the 20. Quick play the ball from Shane Lewis. McGillicuddy with the kick. He's got the breeze behind him, and that might be a 40 20. We'll have to see where the touch judge marks it. Might just be short, I think. It is just short. Nice kick from McGillicuddy. Breeze has swung around a little bit. It's probably favouring the Roosters at the moment. From right to left on your screen. When you're running uphill, which they are in this first half, you need all the assistance you can get. The ball's out and it's dived on there by Erina. They get away with one there, the Eagles, as it comes to O'Burn now to right. He's met by three in the tackle. Plenty of attention for John O'Right. Burn throws the dummy. Good legs tackle there. I think it was Matt I who got him. To Farta now. He's met by three. Put down five metres shy of halfway. Pont through the hands of Fitzpatrick. Clements now. Up over halfway. This will be the last tackle. Pont down the short side. He got wrapped up. He got the ball away. It comes to O'Byrne who puts it up high. Manson comes forward and takes it brilliantly. Well taken by the fullback. No fear there. Fitzpatrick comes out of that one second best. He will need some treatment. He's back to his feet now. Mitch Manson with a great take and another penalty. Too eager there from the Eagles. Hyde will kick for touch and find it. 35 out from the Aaron line. Manson making a solid shot. Hyde now out of dummy half, back underneath Etrich. Looking for a hole in behind the ruck. He'll play it 20 away. Centre field. Hyde out of dummy half. Finds Matai. Matai into some space and Woi Woi will open the scoring. Reese Ryan with the try. Chris Hyde out of dummy half finds the space. Put Matai into a hole and all Matai had to do was find Ryan. And Ryan crosses for the first try of the day. 4 0 with a kick to come. The majority of the game being played down the Woi Woi end. Their first real opportunity at the Aaron line and they cross. 4 0. They take the lead in this elimination final. It was Hyde who skipped out of dummy half. Caught the markers napping. And Matt I might have pinned the ears back himself, but. Unselfishly found Reese Ryan. And he scores his 11th try on the season. Beal moves in and the flags are up. It was awfully close, that one. The uh, crowd behind me don't like the call. And it, to be fair, it, the wind caught it. See the replay. Oh, the flags are up, and that's all that matters. 6 0. Woi Woi lead as Lewis will take the first run off the kickoff. Moore now will play it. Just shy of his own 30. Wish him off his wing. 
And he used to get it outside his own 30, about 18 shy of halfway. Hyde kicks early in the count, looking to use the breeze. He kicks back across field, needs the bounce, gets a good bounce. It'll trickle down towards the goal line. That's a great kick from Chris Hyde, really turning Erinner around. Sheens can only bring it back, 10 out from his own line. And now the Eagles really struggling to get out of their own end. Referee's already pinged Erinner a couple of times for being too quick off the line. Let's see if Wewo can hold their discipline as John O'Wright with a strong run up over the 30. Goes to Fitzpatrick. O'Burn throws the dummy, comes back in field, but he's wrapped up there by Gowans. Last tackle. Comes to Fitzpatrick, who kicks off the left. Punches it down to Manson. Manson's got redhead with him. He takes the line on, though, and gets back to his own 30. So good starting field position here for the Roosters. Redhead now. Let's put that one on the deck. It'll be play on. It was stripped out. Wisham now showing some fancy footwork. They're up over halfway. Six again. So referee deems that that was played at. Lewis. 40 away from the error to line. They lead 6 0 here, the Roosters. Go out the back to Manson, who's met in a really good shot there from Shoveler. Picked him up and dropped him. McGillicuddy down the short side to Moore. They found some space to wish him back on the inside. Alistair Beal, long cutout pass. It hits the deck, comes to Lewis. They've lost probably about 10 metres there, the Roosters, although Lewis is fighting to get it back. Hyde now. Short ball to Etrich in behind the ruck. They pick up 10 easy metres. Hyde again. They go down the left now. Little kick in behind from Hyde. Will it sit up in goals? It will. Didn't get to the in goals. It's well played there by the winger. Dane Marson and now a penalty. Too quick off the line. Marson did well to stay in the field of play there. Ends up earning his team a penalty. 6-0 here at Doylo Sporting Complex. Woi Woi leading Aaron up. As the Eagles find the line, 25 out from their own line. Tuning in on Bar TV, let us know who you're cheering for and where you're cheering from. Clements now. Tackled five shy of halfway. Pont goes to O'Burn. O'Burn to Fitzpatrick. Throws the dummy. Wrapped up there by Hyde. To Farta now. He's brought down by three Woi Woi defenders. Lewis in on the tackle. Fitzpatrick. Short ball. Trent Pies through. He's looking for support. Pye takes a fullback on. Manson does his job, brings him down, last tackle. Comes to Fitzpatrick. Moore was up in his face, little flick pass. It's been put on the deck. Can Woi Woi get back into the field of play? They can. Manson, again, doing a great job at the back. Beal now pokes his nose through. Redhead out of dummy half. A couple of the backs getting in and doing some of the dirty work here for the Roosters. Wisham. He'll play it 25 out from his own line. Lewis now on the charge. Interesting to see how they use their forward rotation today. Woi Woi as McGillicuddy kicks long. Well taken by Sheens. Lewis usually starts off the bench and then comes on after about 20 minutes and plays the rest of the game. Wondering if he might be able to last the full 80 here today. Deegan, 15 shy of halfway. 
Marina managed to get into Woi Woi territory. O'Byrne. He'll play at 35 away on the last. Comes to Fitzpatrick. Chips over the top. Manson slips. It sits up for Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick gets tripped up. He gets the offload away. And the Eagles are over. The Eagles score. Horrible bounce for Mitch Manson. And Fitzpatrick with a little chip over the top. Regathers. And the Eagles score. Just trying to see who that was that crossed the stripe. Number 16, Tyler O'Brien. Scores Erina's opening try. And that's 6-4 with a kick to come. Copped a shocking bounce there, the fullback. Nothing he could do about it. He did slip as well, which didn't help his cause. <laughs> now Fitzpatrick to add the extras. Not the easiest of conditions for kickers. He moves in, and he's pushed that one to the right, so conversion unsuccessful. 6-4, the scoreline remains. Woi Woi leading Erin up. Elimination semi-final. Graham Tanner tuning in from Redcliffe. Go the mighty eagle, says Graham. Beal to get us underway, he puts it up high. He's chases a chance to get down there. Aaron will play it just shy of their own 30 on tackle one as John O'Wright has another run. Comes to O'Byrne to Fitzpatrick. Finds Pye this time. Woi woi, read that attack. Pye oh, met a good shot there for McGillicuddy. Pont looking to pinch some metres out of dummy half. The markers were alert to the danger. There's the try scorer, tips it on to Clements. Clements beats the first man, gets the offload away. Burrell will be brought down just inside Woi Woi territory on the last. Pont. Goes to O'Byrne, who puts it up. The breeze has caught that one. It's going to be tough. It comes down to the try scorer from Tyler O'Brien, but the referee says he was in front of the kicker and inside the 10. You can see the effect that that breeze is having. That one just sat right up in that breeze. So we see, I think it's Shane Lewis down receiving some attention, clutching at a knee, and that's... Not good news for Woi Woi. They're already short. Tom Reed, who's out suspended for this one. Just talking about Shane Lewis potentially seeing out the 80 minutes today. He'll do well from here as he's getting assistance back to his feet. He'll be lucky to see out another minute here, let alone 80. Limping towards the sideline, it'll be Jimmy Fawcett to come into the game. And the 15. And 
That's not good news for the Woi Woi Roosters. It's Hyde kicks a touch. I might catch that. No, over my head. Gowans takes the tap. It's Reese Ryan. Scorer of the opening try here today at Doyle Sporting Complex. He'll be tackled five metres inside Erin Territory. Etrich. Just over 23 minutes gone here in this elimination final. McGillicuddy through the hands to Beal. Beal, little flick pass to Wisham who comes back in field. And he's ragged all to the ground, Wisham. Gillicuddy in a dummy half. Comes to Moore. Moore will play it. 28 away from the line. Hyde. Goes to Matai. Through their hands to Ryan. Ryan's brought down 10 away. They're on the attack here. Last tackle. Etrich in a dummy half. Comes to Matai with a kick across field. Looking for Beal. They fly. It's been put down by Woi Woi. First knock on, though, from the Eagles. So Woi Woi get a result from that kick, and they'll have a scrum feed 10 metres out. Full set of six at their disposal. Big chance here for the Roosters. They were impressive with ball in hand last week against the entrance. Woi Woi. Just about every time they got down the Tigers' end, they threatened. Let's see if they've got a little trick shot here off the scrum. They win the scrum and it comes to Matai. Matai cross field. He had Ryan on the outside of O'Byrne. Decided to hold on to it. Hyde now. Down the short side. Finds Manson. Manson to Ryan. Ryan bounces off one. The defence comes across. They hold him out. Hide in a dummy half. Comes to Matai. Matai to McGillicuddy. McGillicuddy throws the dummy. He sliced through last week for a try. Not this time. Force backwards in the tackle. Slowish play. The ball. Etrich out of dummy half. He threw the big dummy. Nobody falling for that one. He's driven into the ground there by the Erina defence. They're deep to the left here, Woi Woi, and they come that way. Hyde to Matai. Matai to Manson. Manson to Gowans, and Gowans couldn't reel it in. He was always stretching for that one, Scott Gowans. A chance goes begging for the Roosters, and Erina's goal line defence stands firm. 6 4. Woi Woi lead the Eagles. 26 minutes gone here at Doylo Sporting Complex. Dan McCamley on the mic here for Bar TV Sports. Make sure you're tuning in tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. It's Wyong Roos taking on the entrance in the qualifying final. Right now we've got the elimination final. Woi Woi with their noses in front. Winner of this one will go on to play the loser of that game tomorrow. Burrell battles his way up towards the 40. Looking for the quick play, the ball. Pont out of dummy half. Erina just plugging away in behind the play, the ball. Picking up some nice metres. Referee says milking there as Burrell goes through the hands to O'Byrne. They've got some space. Oh, and it looked like Lawrence might throw the flick pass there to Marson. Just got caught in his arm. O'Byrne now, a little kick in behind, looking for the bounce. It's well fielded there by Matai. Matai will play it 10 metres out from his own line. There's little kicks in behind, looking very dangerous to the Eagles. Reese Ryan now. Play it 25 out from his own line. Hyde goes to Wisham. Certainly not shirking his responsibilities, Wisham. Not afraid to come in and take some of those tough runs. Give his forwards a bit of a rest. And there's one of them in Mason. 
Big Jade Mason. Comes to McGillicuddy who kicks. Using that breeze and it'll sit up nicely. Now it's going to trickle away from Marson. Marson will bring it back. Run straight at Fawcett and Moore. And he's brought down 25 out from his own line on tackle one. Aaron are now up over there, 30 through Clements. Clements will play it just shy of the 40. It's the 14 out there in Elliott. Pinching 10 or so metres out of dummy half. It's Patrick in there now. He'll go for a run. 18 out there for Woi Woi. The road dog, Jesse James, has entered the fray. No burn. Puts that one up high. It'll sit up in the breeze again. Manson comes forward. Right's underneath it. Right takes it. Right back on the inside. The defence comes. And it looked like Gowans might have fallen off the tackle, but... The referee says he's done enough. It was John O'Wright up over the top of Manson. Took the bomb back on the inside to Lawrence. And Gowans did enough in the referee's eyes to make the tackle force the turnover. To the naked eye, it looked like he might have fallen off there in that tackle, Gowans, but the referee's called held and we'll have a turnover to Woi Woi deep inside their own territory and the road dog Jesse James up towards the 20 that's a good strong charge from the interchange player comes to McGillicuddy not sure he knew too much about that Ernie McGillicuddy I'm not sure he appreciated it either he takes the tackle Comes to Hyde now, back underneath to Moore. Right, 30 out from their own line. Hyde again, throws the dummy, looking for a hole. Be made to play a 12 shy of halfway. Comes to Matai. Steps off the left. And they'll play the ball five shy of halfway on the last. McGillicuddy now. Puts that one up high. Sheens comes across and takes it. And what a shot from Beal. Alistair Beal putting the hurt on. Lewis Sheens doing well to hold onto it in that tackle. Boy, boy, really using that breeze to their advantage to get themselves out of trouble in this first half. They lead six points to four. Heron are now working it away from their own goal line. They're up over their own 40. Quick play the balls here. Fitzpatrick goes to O'Byrne. O'Byrne to Clements. Clements nearly goes through. Matai got him around the boot laces. O'Byrne now down the short side. Puts the kick in. It'll want to sit up. Redhead bobbles. And the referee says there's a little knock on from Luke Redhead. Just dragged it back towards himself. And that is a knock-on any day of the week. And now Erina will have an opportunity to hit the front for the first time today. Scrum feed, 18 out from the line. Full set of six at their disposal. It'll be a burn to feed. Lewis Sheens, the fullback, is first cab off the rank. And he's got Fitzpatrick outside of him. They go through the hands now to Fitzpatrick. Trent Pye with some nice footwork. He's looked dangerous today, Pye. Tough to bring down. He usually beats that first man. Comes now to Shoveler. Shoveler's only 10 away. They go to Clements. In the shadows of the goalposts. Quick play the ball from Clements. They get it at WL. They go for the line. They get there. Toby Elliott, the 14, dives over from dummy half. Caught the markers napping. And Aaron to hit the front. Eight points to six with a kick to come. We 
see from dummy half. He still had a bit of work to do. He wasn't as if they were right on the goal line. Elliot just saw a hole. He got down low. Did enough to squeeze between the two defenders. Erina hit the front. Eight points to six here in this elimination final. Has got another Woi Woi player down. Receiving treatment. Erina player down. Looks like he might be getting some strapping to his foot. Maybe ankle. It'll be Fitzpatrick to try and add the extras. Right, the Eagles number uh, 14, KB Elias, puts the Eagles in front for the first time in the match. Shane Lewis is back to his feet on the Woi Woi bench. He's wondering if he'll make his way back into the fray. He's not moving at 100%, but he is pacing up and down the sideline. Conversion attempt successful. Ten points to six. They're in a lead. And that's Etrich who's down up against the goalposts. And he looks like he'll be making his way from the field. coming on for Woi Woi. Not too sure who that is, to be honest. He's not in the program, so if anybody out there in uh, Bar TV Sportsland could, uh, that's tuning in could let us know who the 19 is for Woi Woi, that would be greatly appreciated. Tick down towards half-time. Around five minutes to go in this first half. Beal gets us back underway with another high kickoff. And it's been put down and knocked on. Sheens couldn't take the kickoff. Beal puts it down. And just as Aaron to take the lead, they invite Woi right back into this one. Ten points to six. The Eagles leading the Roosters. Chance here for Woi Woi to post points before half time. <laughs> McGillicuddy to feed the scrum. Hyde goes to Matai. Matai to Ryan back underneath. Bounces off Clements, but the defence comes in numbers. Hyde. Goes down the short side to Matai. Matai through the hands to Gowans. Gowans steps off the left. Steps off the right. Can he get it down, Gowans? No, he can't. The error in the defence comes again. Hyde now to Matai. That one hits the deck and Aaron to come up with it. Big let off there for the Eagles. It was Elliot shooting up out of the line. Brian, play it just shy of his own 30. Burrell, looking for the offload, can't get it away. Go to O'Byrne. O'Byrne through the hands, finds Lawrence. Lawrence is well tackled there by Gowans. O'Byrne to kick, Hyde putting the pressure on. And goes down to Manson, takes it on the full, brings it back at speed. He's wrapped up by a couple of Erina defenders. Still fighting Manson. He's right, looking to take him backwards. Wish him out of dummy half. Come 
Blue Boy will play it. Just shy of their own 40. Hyde now. Finds the road dog, Jesse James. That uh, was Jimmy Fawcett, actually. Hyde looking for the penalty. Lovely little flick pass. Looking for the quick play, the ball. Spending a long time in the tackle there, the Eagles. Matt Eye gets the kick away. Sheens comes across. Sheens takes it, but he's well tackled by Ryan. And the Aaron of forwards. Just getting back on side now, slowly but surely. Trying to work it away from their own goal line. That's tackle three. Still inside their own 20. They go to O'Burn. O'Burn with a fend and Fawcett did just enough. Looks like he might have hurt his arm or shoulder there, Fawcett. It is a limp. He's not moving it as it comes to O'Burn again, who puts it on the toe. Sits up nicely for Redhead. Redhead beats one, beats two. Still going, Luke Redhead. Makes his way back up towards halfway. Jimmy Fawcett is in a world of trouble. Boy, boy, go up over halfway on tackle two. Megilla Cuddy through the hands. Megilla Cuddy comes to Hyde. Hyde to Fawcett, who's recovered. Plays the ball quickly. Hyde now to the right. Short ball. It's been put down. Chance for Aaron at a counter-attack. I think it's Fitzpatrick over there. We'll need a bit of attention from the trainers. Only a couple of minutes to go here in the first half. Ten points to six. Aaron a leading Woi Woi. It was Woi Woi who opened the scoring. Aaron have scored back-to-back -back tries to take the lead in this elimination final. Just taking their time over there with Fitzpatrick. Back to his feet, so that's a good sign for the halfback. He'll play it. 22 out from his own line. Burrell brought down just shy of his own 30. Elliott out of dummy half. O'Brien play it. It comes to O'Burn. Burn will be brought down five shy of halfway. Matt Eye and Ryan in on the tackle. Elliot gets out of dummy half. He gets into Woi Woi territory. Big barrel out of dummy half. He manages to make his way up to Woi Woi's 30. It's the last tackle. Comes to Fitzpatrick who puts it on the toe. That's Sat up nicely. It'll be the last tackle still not played at. And Trent Pye will die with it over there in the far corner. Crowd not happy with that decision. They thought it was played at. Redhead. Takes the first run of the set. He's dumped on his back. Force it. There's the halftime siren. An entertaining first half here at Doylo Sporting Complex. It's the Erina Eagles 10 leading the Woi Woi Roosters 6. For Erina tries to Tyler O'Brien and Toby Elliott. Jake Fitzpatrick kicking one from two. 
As for the Woi Woi Roosters, Reese Ryan scored the opener. Alistair Beale kicking one from one. That brings us to half time here at Doyle Sporting Complex. We'll be back shortly for the second half of this elimination final.
Dan McKinley on the mic for Bar TV Sports. Elimination semi-final time here at Central Coast Rugby League. Erin Eagles taking on the Woi Woi Roosters. It's Erin leading 10 points to six at half time. Toby Elliott and Tyler O'Brien scoring for Erin up. Reese Ryan crossing the stripe for Woi Woi. And for one team here this afternoon, this will be their last 40 minutes of season 2019. They'll be able to book a table at their respective leagues clubs for Mad Monday celebrations. For the winner of this one, they go on to battle the loser of Wyong versus the entrance. That'll be live on Bar TV Sports tomorrow afternoon from 2.30. Erin are already back out on the field. My suspicions have been confirmed on Facebook, on our live stream. The number 19 in the headgear, Mac Fawcett. A late inclusion for the Woi Woi Roosters. A surprise inclusion. He's missed the last well, month to six weeks through injury. And he's back out there today to try and lift his team to a win. He's a big inclusion. Scored the winner when these two met in round 10. Still no Shane Lewis. He left the field in the first half with a lower leg injury. We're about to get underway here, second half action. Beal kicks off. It's well taken by Shoveler. Shoveler will play a 25 away. As I said, the last 40 minutes for one of these teams in 2019. I'll leave it all out on the pitch here at Doyle Sporting Complex. Some more. He was in the tackle for a while there. High plays it. Elliot out of dummy half to Fitzpatrick across to O'Byrne. Finds Wright. Wright will back his way up over halfway. They just can't bring him down. Woi Woi. They finally do. Elliot. O'Byrne. And O'Byrne looking to sell the dummy on that far side. Last tackle. Comes to Fitzpatrick. He kicks high. It's across to Wisham. Chase is coming through. Wisham stands his ground. Takes it well. And one of the Arena players has come out of that one. Worse aware as Beal breaks through. Beal now. It's a foot race. Beal and Sheens. Beal up over halfway. He's finally brought down. Chance here for the Roosters. Arena down to 12 for the moment. Redhead now. Takes the settler. They've still got a player down in back play, Aaron up. Let's play on for the minute. Hyde out of dummy half. Comes to Matt Eye. Matt Eye to McGillicuddy. McGillicuddy finds Manson. Manson on the wraparound. And he's brought down 20 away. Force it in a dummy half. McGillicuddy throws the dummy. Taken low there by Elliott. Looking for the quick play, the ball. Hyde. Mac Fawcett with a little kick in behind, looking for Manson. It's batted dead by the two, Mitch Deegan. Got Brandon Shoveler down on halfway, receiving some treatment. Aaron are defending with 12 at the moment. And the referee blows time off. Woi Woi going close to levelling things up. It wasn't for Mitch Deegan. Mitch Manson would have crossed. Shovel is back to his feet. Slowly make his way back to the goal line. This gives Erin a chance to reset. And 
Shovela is back in the line and referee blows time on. It'll be O'Byrne with the dropout. Sits up nicely for Beal. Beal with a little skip at the line. Runs straight at Shovela. He makes the tackle. The road dog, Jesse James now. Up to the 30. Height out of dummy half to Matai. They've got some numbers. Manson through the hands, finds Gowans. Gowans steps off the left. He had Redhead outside him. Redhead in at acting half. Matai, Jimmy Fawcett. Now to Moore. Moore just straightens up the attack. They're inside the 10 here, the Roosters. They trail 10 points to six. Hyde in at dummy half. Comes to McGillicuddy. Through the hands to Fawcett. Fawcett short ball to Beal. Great tackle, Shoveler. Beal looking for the quick play of the ball. Mac Fawcett finds McGillicuddy. Puts the kick up, and that one is an absolute shank. Off the outside of the right boot, and it's gone. Deading goals on the full. Any McGillicuddy will want that one back. Looked like me off the first tee at Tookley. Now seven tackles set here for Erina. A good opportunity to get down the other end of the field. Pye. It's brought down in a three-minute ball comes loose and it's been put down by Trent Pye. A knock on there from Pye. And invites Woi Woi back onto the attack. Five minutes gone here in the second half. They still trail 10 points to six, the Roosters. Chris Hyde down in back play, receiving some attention from the trainer. Or if it's a groin or lower abdomen, he's in a bit of pain here, Hyde. Gillicuddy to feed the scrum. Bad eye to Ryan. Final play at 32 away from the Eagles line. Tackle one. Flat ball to Moore. Moore carrying three with him up towards the 20. Got some numbers down the right. Hyde goes that way through McGillicuddy. Short ball to Fawcett. Fawcett, can he get the arms free? No, he can't. He'll be brought down inside the 10. Hyde. Finds Matt Eye. Matt Eye dummies underneath goes to. They find the line through Gowans and Gowans will score. Gowans scores the try. It was Mitch Manson chiming in from the back. And Gowans, too much strength, gets it over the line. 10 all. We're all locked up here at Doylo. Manson just getting on the outside of his man. Freed up the space for Gowans, and Gowans had enough strength to carry a couple over the line with him. 10 all, the score line. These two teams are separated by the solitary point on the table. We're all locked up here at Doylo Sporting Complex. Alistair Beale to try and put his team back in front. Shane Lewis still pacing up and down the sidelines. He's having a chat with the coach over there. Ray Farag. Looks like he might be about to make his way back into this game. That'll be a huge boost for Woi Woi if he can re-enter the fray.
Beal lines this one up. Important kick. He moves in. Strikes it. And that one's waved away. Ten all. Elimination final. 49 minutes gone. It'll be O'Byrne to get us back underway. Kicks high. The breeze takes it towards the sideline. McGillicuddy takes it well. And the road dog, Jesse James, brings it back. Hyde now down the short side to Fawcett. Fawcett's brought down just shy of his own 30 on tackle two. Wisham now. Met by O'Brien and Wright. Comes to Jimmy Fawcett. Fawcett with the arm free. Couldn't get the offload away, but good meters there from Jimmy Fawcett. Hyde down the short side to Matt Eye. Making some good yards here, Woi Woi, on this set. That'll be the last tackle, 25 away. Hyde down the short side again. Comes to Gowans, who puts it on the toe. It sits up. Gowans with a great shot. It was Redhead, actually. Redhead on Sheens. And now Erina have to work it away from their own try line. Let's tackle two. Just about to say they needed that run, but the Woi Woi defence forces them backwards inside their own 10. Comes to Clements. Clements is brought down by Beal and Fawcett. Really struggling here at the moment, Aaron. They've got a bit of space on this left-hand side. This will be the last. They'll be kicking from inside their own 20. And there's the kick downfield. Manson takes it on the full and a chance to bring it back. You'll get to halfway here, Manson. Finds Redhead. Redhead will be brought down inside Eagles territory on tackle one. So great starting field position here for the Roosters. Jesse James now. He'll play it 38 away from the Eagles line. Matt I throws the dummy, goes himself. He's wrapped up by O'Brien. Hyde comes to Moore. Moore with the set little towards the sticks. Slow play the ball here for Moore as Hyde gets into dummy half. McGillicuddy now with the juggle. That one's been batted down. It'll be six to go. Manson picks it up. Manson throws the dummy. Full set of six here for the Roosters. What can they produce? Ten all the score line. Manson to play it. Hyde out of dummy half. Hits, spins. He can't get to the try line. The Eagles defense holds firm for now. Jimmy Force it in at dummy half. Comes to Matt Eye. Matt Eye throws the dummy and looked like it might have been a high shot. The referee says it was all right. It was Burrell over there. Lewis is back out there for the Roosters. Shane Lewis back out there after coming off the field earlier on through injury and Chris Hyde has put it down a dummy half. Uncharacteristic mistake there from Hyde. A real let off for Wo uh, for Erina, sorry. Ten all the score line. Winner moves on to next week. Loser goes home for 2019. Both of these teams will want another crack at the top two. Got an error and a player down in backfield receiving some treatment. Go through a few of the results from earlier on 
today. Terrigal defeating Erin at 12 points to six in the ladies' league tag. King Cumber defeating Erin at eight points to six in the open age. And King Cumber defeating Erin at 14 points to eight in reserve grade. Spiteful clash, that one. Plenty of feeling in it. Had a send-off, a couple of simbins. And it's 10 all here in first grade. Erin looking to work it away from their own try line. They've got a scrum centre field, 10 out from their own line. Yeah, making some decent metres here through Tim Burrell. Over his own 20. They find Danny Lawrence now, and Lawrence will be brought down on his own 40. O'Burn back underneath. O'Brien will play it just shy of halfway. Elliott out of dummy half finds John O'Wright. Right will be made to play it. 10 metres inside Boy Boy Territory. Elliot out of dummy half. Kicked it straight into the marker, really. Wasn't played at by Woi Woi, and Woi Woi will have a scrum feed 20 metres out from their own line. About 15 minutes gone in this second half. 10 all the score line. Make sure if you're tuning in on Bar TV, let us know who you're cheering for and where you're cheering from. They say there'd be a couple of entrants and Wyong players and officials tuning into this one. So Mac Force, it'll play it. Lewis. Hide out of dummy half. Goes to Moore. Moore looks like he's slotted back into the centre of the park. He was playing on an edge earlier on. Dietrich not out there at the moment as Hyde kicks early. Gets a nice bounce though for Sheens. Sheens brings it back towards the centre of the field, but he's wrapped up there by Jimmy Fawcett. 20 metres out from his own line. Shoveler. Solid contact there from Chris Hyde and Shane Lewis. Larson now. Play it 12 shy of halfway on tackle three. 17 out there and Joel Frazier. And play it right on halfway, centre field. O'Burn. Oh, nearly intercepted there by Gowans. It's been knocked down. It was an all or nothing play from Scott Gowans. Couldn't hold on to it. Now, Aaron will have an opportunity with a full set of six inside Woi Woi territory. Ten all the score line here at Doyle Sporting Complex. Interesting to see who handles this last 20 or so minutes better. Woi Woi had a grueling game against the entrance last weekend. Very physical. Erin hopped out to a massive lead over King Cumber, and then King Cumber nearly produced one of the greatest comebacks you'll ever see. They got to within six. Ended up 38-32. A little bit of a juggle there from Fraser. Looking for six again there, the Eagles, but they don't get it. Comes to Shovela, wrapped up by McGillicuddy and Lewis. Elliott in a dummy half, goes to the right. Fraser through the hands to Fitzpatrick. Back on the inside to O'Brien. O'Brien will play it, only 10 away. Comes to Fitzpatrick through the hands, O'Burn. Chopped down and a great tackle. Just looking to see who it was. 
think it might have been Manai, the halfback. Chopped him down. Can't run without legs is the old saying. Blake Maddai comes up with a great tackle on his own try line. Now, they burn down, receiving some treatment. There's nothing ill towards in the tackle. Preliminary final to be played at Berkeley Vale next weekend. Good to see the Central Coast Rugby League sharing around this final series. We were at King Cumber and Erin last week. Doilo and Woi Woi this week and then Berkeley Vale for the prelims. Burns back to his feet as Jade Mason's about to come back into the fray. Dietrich is back out there in the 13. More now up over his own 20. Dietrich again comes to hide. Right back underneath the Lewis. Goes to McGillicuddy who kicks long. He's straight down the throw to Sheens though. Sheens will bring it back at pace. He'll be tackled 35 out on tackle one. Both teams just going through the motions at the moment, happy to get to their kicks wanting to invite the other team onto the attack. Comes to Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick underneath to O'Brien. O'Brien will play at 40 away from Woi Woi's line. O'Burn, short ball to right. Desperate tackle there from Matai again around the legs. Elliot out of dummy half, kicks him behind. Manson on the chase, and he'll do well to stay in the field of play here, Manson. Now the Aaron of defence can really compress. Redhead slips underneath the high tackle. Gowans. Plenty of numbers in the tackle, though, for Aaron, slowing that play the ball down. McGillicuddy throws the dummy. Ball slips out. Shoveler can't take the rebound, but it'll be a knock on both ways, which means a feed to the Erina Eagles. About 15 metres out from the Woi Woi line. We're into the final 20 minutes of this elimination final. And that'll be... Looking for the four or six points here, Ariner, but just wondering how early is too early to take a point if they don't get a result from this set. They look to go early when maybe there's not as much pressure on. Elliot goes to O'Burn. O'Burn takes the line on. Brought down 10 away. Elliot Clements. And then so we force backwards. That's good defense from the Roosters. Still going. Making meters without the ball. It was more and Etrich on the tackle. Fraser. Center field. Elliott. Finds O'Brien. O'Brien's already got one today. Can he get another? No, he can't. He's over the goal line. Take it back to the 10. Couldn't get the ball to ground. Couple of tackles left here for Erina. 
Elliott goes to O'Byrne, to right. Right steps off the right, steps off the left, puts a fend on. Can he get to the line? No, he can't. Held up again. The Roosters defence holding on for dear life. John O'Wright going close. And come to O'Burn to Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick with the kick in behind, sits up nicely for Wisham. Wisham can be tackled by Fitzpatrick and shovel up, looking to force him back in goals. Boy Boy survived that onslaught. Redhead now. Can't remember the last time there was a penalty in this second half. I'm not even sure if there has been one. Referees put the whistle away, letting these two teams slug it out. Survival of the fittest out there at the moment. There's more. Battles his way up towards his own 40. It's a good run there from Moore. For the quick play, the ball comes to McGillicuddy. Back to Hyde, back to Manson. A little bit too close there. Nice interchange from Woi Woi. Comes to Beal, who puts up the spiral torpedo bomb. Tough to deal with it. Bounces. It comes to Wisham. Wisham can't hold it. Oh, Beal comes across, and I think he's knocked himself out, Beal. Pretty sure Mitch Deegan was the one on the receiving end. Beal's back to his feet. A little bit of push and shove. Deegan will play it. The referee not seeing anything wrong with it. Fawcett's in there as well. A little push and shove from both sides. Things starting to tense up here at Doylo Sporting Complex. And about 15 minutes left in this one. 10 all the scoreline. Winner stays alive for 2019. Oh, there's a little juggle in it. Could be the mistake that we have been looking for. It's Bailey Scott with the juggle. And too much work in the play the ball there from Elliott. Decision here to make for Woi Woi. About 35 out, centre field. Beal's going to come across. They point to the uprights. Oh, interesting decision. Kicking into the breeze. It'll be tough if he misses to kick it dead. He's going to take the shot. Chance to put Woi Woi in front. 10 all the scoreline. Well, maybe it might have just been a touch too far out in these conditions. I think he'll have the distance, Beal, but as I said, he's kicking into the breeze. He's going to have to give it a little bit extra. That might just mean he sprays it. Chance here for Beal to put Woi Woi back in front in this elimination final. As he moves in, strikes it. It's heading towards the post. It's wide. Pushes it to the left. He managed to kick it dead though. Now Erina will have a drop out, 20 metres out from their own line. Woi Woi will get the ball back. Watch the short pen. Watch the short pen. Yeah, yeah. O'Byrne with the long drop out. Goes down to Woi Woi 30. Lewis on the charge. And Lewis will play it a couple of metres shy of halfway on tackle one. Each reach out of dummy half. Goes to Moore. Moore 
ball play it inside Eagles territory. Etrich. Lewis now. Goes to Etrich. Etrich throws the dummy. Etrich with the fend. He's half through. Elliott holding on. They're only a couple of metres away here, the Roosters. 10 all the score. Hyde in a dummy half. Comes to McGillicuddy. To Mac Fawcett. Fawcett steps off the right. Fawcett for the line. Fawcett will score the try. Mac Fawcett crosses the stripe. And the late inclusion for the Roosters puts them back in front. 14 points to 10. Touched on how big of an inclusion he was for this Woi Woi outfit, the vice captain. He's missed well, six, maybe seven weeks of football, carrying an ankle injury. There's no way he looks 100% out there, but he's done enough to put his team back in front. 14 points to 10. Chance here for Beal to make it a six point lead. Tough conditions for kickers. Beal moves in, strikes it, and that one is in between the uprights and over the post. 16 10. Mac Fawcett's fifth try on the season. Aaron to get us back underway. With plenty of stoppages in this second half. Our clock reads about nine minutes to go. More like 14 or 15. We're going deep into red time here on Bar TV Sports this afternoon. Lewis now. Woi Woi with their tails up. They lead by six. What have Erida got in response? Season is on the line here for the Eagles. Moore will play it. Slow to his feet. McGillicuddy. Kicks downfield, finds the grass, and that one will trickle over the sideline. Sheen's not willing to grab that one. Good kick there from McGillicuddy, and Aaron will have a scrum feed 10 metres out from their own line. Under 14 minutes to go here at Doylo Sporting Complex. Winner will take on... The loser of the Wyong Roosters, the Entrance Tigers. They play tomorrow afternoon live here on Bar TV Sports. Real ask for the scrum to be fed again. In the scrum feed, the Eagles. Lawrence. Comes to O'Byrne. O'Byrne picks up valuable metres. They're at the wrong end of the field, though, the Eagles. I'll tell you who we haven't seen out there for a long, long time. Kenny Tafata. Aaron are really missing his go forward at the moment. Clements brought down five shy of halfway. Ponce back out there. Comes to Burrell, short ball, and they found a bit of space. It's Bailey Scott, Bailey Scott. Wisham comes. Wisham with a great tackle. We're going to come back, are we? 
I think the referees found a penalty for tackle without the ball. Chance here for Erina. They trail by six. They kick for touch. They find the line. Big chance here for the Eagles. Can they level things up? Their season hangs in the balance. They'll have a full set of six. Comes to Pont. Pont back to Pye. Little disorganised there from Erina. Pye's picked up and dumped. And the two-man tackle, Pont, comes to Fitzpatrick, Fitzpatrick to O'Burn, O'Burn takes the line on again, it's brought down only metres away, Pont underneath the barrel, barrel for the line, forced backwards by the Woiwo defence. Slow play of the ball from Burrell. Comes to O'Byrne. O'Byrne takes the line on again. Still going, O'Byrne. Can't get to the try line. Jade Mason is down just behind the play of the ball. For real, stop play. Like it might be a, some sort of hip injury for Jade Mason. Jesse James to his feet on the bench for the Roosters. Mason slowly but surely getting to his feet. Etrich is also getting a little bit of attention. This might be their best chance, Erina. Full set of six. On the Woi Woi line. They trail 16 points to 10. Inside the final 10 minutes comes to Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick throws the dummy, looking for a way through. It's brought down, metres away. Last tackle, Pont kicks it in behind, looking for the post. It'll sit up. Maddai's got to bat it dead. Pont gets a result. Aaron will get the ball back. Woi Woi will have another set of six to defend on their goal line. Aaron up. Doing their best to get back into this one. Beal gets us back underway. Comes down to Fitzpatrick who takes it. Bailey Scott. On the charge. Brought down 25 out on tackle one. Pont goes to Pye. Pye's met by Beal. Lewis in on the tackle as well. Pont again. Goes to Clements. Clements is wrapped up by Mason. Lewis in there as well. Pont now. Fitzpatrick. O'Byrne. Throws the pass, finds Lawrence. He gets free of the tackle. Sheens now. Sheens is flung to the ground. Woi Woi have all the answers at the moment. O'Burn, nice pick up. Goes to Burrell. They're screaming for it out here on the left-hand side. They've got numbers if they can get it out there quickly. Pont. They go that way through O'Burn. O'Burn with the cutout pass. They've got the numbers. It's three on one. They score in the corner. Mitch Deegan scores the try. They had to score. And Aaron a fight back. 16 points to 14 and a massive kick to come. Well, they had such a big overlap out here on the left-hand side. It was just a matter of Using the numbers, Shoveler unselfishly setting up his winger, Mitch Deegan, for the try. And now Jake Fitzpatrick, with around about eight minutes to go in this one, will have a kick from the sideline to level things up.
tough conditions here today for kickers. There's a decent breeze been blowing. Seems to be blowing right into Jake Fitzpatrick's face at the moment. That try might just give Erida a little bit of momentum that they need to finish this one off. Especially if Fitzpatrick can throw this kick over. He moves in, strikes it, and he pushes it to the left. Conversion unsuccessful. Woi Woi still lead, 16-14. Around about seven minutes to go. Don't be fooled by our clock. We've got about seven minutes to go in this one. Plenty of time for Aaron to score again. Beal to get us underway. Beal kicks high and long into the breeze. They've let it bounce. Is it going to go into touch? No. Well taken by Shoveler. The defence is down there. They're going to force a goal line dropout. Great result for Woi Woi. They let the kick bounce. It was up in the breeze. It was swirling around. Shoveler did well to keep it in play. And he was forced backwards in goals. Goal line dropout here for Erina. Woi Woi would want to be careful of the short one. And they go short. Fitzpatrick looking for the result. It comes off Woi Woi. It'll be play on. Aaron to get it back. Woi Woi went to sleep. Burrell comes up with it. The big front rower. Drama here at Doilo. Lawrence. Pont now. Goes back to Burrell. Just when you think... Woi Woi, we're going to see this one out. It's Aaron now. Ball in hand. Fitzpatrick throws the dummy. McGillicuddy does just enough. He nearly shrugged him off there, Fitzpatrick. Pond down the short side to O'Byrne. Throws the dummy. He runs straight into Lewis. Pond, no. He gets the offload away. Still going, Pond. Last tackle, 35 out. Goes to Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick chips over the top. Looking for the bounce, it's been dropped, it's been missed, it's been, it's a try! Mitch Deegan scores! Mitch Manson couldn't hold on to it, and Mitch Deegan falls on it in the end goals. Aaron a lead, 18 points to 16 with a kick to come. Five minutes to go. We see the replay, it copped a horrible bounce for Manson. Straight back over his head. He got hands to it, couldn't hold on to it. And Mitch Deegan chasing through. All he had to do was fall on it. And Aaron up, out of nowhere, take the lead. Let's not forget, 30 seconds ago, they'd let the kickoff bounce and were forced back into their own in goals. They've got 100 metres after getting the short dropout back. And they've hit the front. They're going to go short. Fucking make sure we get this ball. 18-16. Under four minutes to go. Fitzpatrick will take his time. You'd have to think Woi Woi goes short from the kickoff, but those kickoffs from Beal are an absolute weapon. He's already forced a couple of mistakes from the Aaron aside. Woi Woi need the ball back. Season hanging by a thread here at Doilo. Fitzpatrick moves in. Strikes it and that one's pushed across the face of goals. Beal now wasting no time with the kickoff. Two minutes 50 remaining. 
Beal kicks off. He kicks high and long. It might be too long, is it? Oh, he's going to kick it dead in goals. He's done it again, Alistair Beal. What a weapon that kickoff is, and they're going to get the ball back here, Woi Woi. What a kick. The temptation to go short was there. He's put some hurt on that kickoff, and it's landed about a metre inside the goal line. Eighteen points to sixteen. No penalties here for the Eagles either. That'll give Woiwoi a chance to level things up. Referees blowing time off. We're back underway. O'Byrne with the drop out. It's not his best. Sits up. Beal takes it. Come back centre field. Tackle one will be thirty away. This might be their last chance here. The Roosters. Etrich to Lewis. Four in on the tackle. Etrich again. Goes across field. Comes to Matai. Matai through the hands to Manson. Manson finds Beal, I think it is. No, it's not. Comes to Matai. Matai takes the line on. He'll be brought down about 10 away. A couple of tackles left here for the Roosters. If they don't score, they need a repeat set. Lewis on the charge towards the posts. Last tackle. McGillicuddy to the right. They go to the left through Matai. Matai through the hands. Gets it away to Hyde. Hyde to Matai. Kick him behind. Erina fall on it. It's been knocked on by Erina. We're into the final minute. 50 seconds to go. Woi rushing to pack the scrum. Time blowing off. 42, 40 seconds remaining. Well, the clock's still ticking. That won't be right. The referee has blown time off. Finally stopped at 30 seconds, but... Woi Woi, last chance saloon. What can they produce? Time back on McGillicuddy. Underneath to force it. Force it back on the angle. Gets the offload away. Etrich picks it up. It's still there for Woi Woi. Only seconds remain. Hyde comes to McGillicuddy. Finds Beal. Great shot by Shoveler. Good goal on defence from Erina. That one hits the deck. Comes to Matai. Matai to Etrich. Etrich shows the dummy. Etrich is through. Etrich with the line. He doesn't get there. Last chance. Hyde comes to Matai. Matai to Beal. Intercepted. No, it's been knocked down. That's the full time siren. Aaron will do enough. Aaron will win. Ecstasy for Aaron. Agony for Woi Woi. Their season's over. But the Eagles. Score two late tries to steal this one. 18 points to 16. An outstanding game of rugby league here at Doylo Sporting Complex. Aaron are doing just enough in the end. Woi Woi with one last chance to win it on the bell. Etrich must have gone awfully close. And in the end, Erina run out 18 points to 16 winners over Woi Woi. For Woi Woi, a season that started off quite slowly. Three losses on the trot to begin the year. They ended up finishing third. Went down to the entrance last weekend, 30 to 18, and they go down here to the Erina Eagles. 18 points to 16. They'll be disappointed with the way the season's finished. As for Erina, well, they jumped out to a big lead last weekend against King Cumber. They had to come from behind here at Doylo Sporting Fields. Trailed 16 points to 10 with 10 minutes to go. Scored two tries, and they run out winners, and they move on to the preliminary final. Try scorers for Erina. Mitch Deegan with the double. He scored the winner as well. Toby Elliott crossed the stripe, as did Tyler O'Brien. Jake Fitzpatrick kicking one from four. 
As for Woi Woi, Scott Gowans, Reese Ryan and Mac Fawcett scored the tries. Alistair Beal kicking two from three. Make sure you're tuning in tomorrow from 2.30, Bar TV Sports. It'll be Wyong versus the entrance in the major semi-final. Aaron will go on to play the loser of that one next weekend. And after an entertaining afternoon here at Doyle Sporting Complex, I'm Dan McCamley signing off until tomorrow.